moving things people and movements measurements in our daily life we make use of various measurements now let us learn about different systems of measurements in olden days the length of cloth land and other things were measured using hand measurement palm span cubit fathom and foot a unit is a standardized quantity of a physical property used as a factor to express occurring quantities of that property measurements used to measure length mass and time are called fundamental measurements or basic measurements internationally standard units are decided for them there are mainly three systems of units to measure length mass and time measurement system fps system base units for length foot for mass pound for time second cgs system length centimeter mass gram time second mks system length meter mass kilogram time second mks system is also known as standard international system or si system cgs and mks systems are known as metric systems fps system is known as british system multiples and sub multiples of basic units 1 km is equal to 1000 meters or equal to 10 cubic meters 1 meter is equal to 100 cm equal to 10 square cm 1 cm is equal to 10 mm 1 mm is equal to 1000 microns 1 micron is equal to 1 by 1000 mm or equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 mm 1 angstrom is equal to 10 to the power of 10 meters or 10 to the power of minus 7 mm instruments like scale tape and survey chains are used to measure distances and length of objects and lands the smallest quantity that can be measured accurately using any instrument is known as least count of that measuring instrument activity place the scale to the edge of your notebook to the length of your notebook similarly you can measure the length of a pencil refill cloth and pillars etc fields plots and playgrounds are measured by using survey chains or measuring tape we cannot measure curved surfaces like edges of glass circumference of bangle and cylindrical box with a scale these can be measured by twine and the twine can be measured with scale By using scale we can measure circumference of any curved surface activity measuring the diameter of wire using scale take the wire whose diameter has to be measured wind it around the pencil as shown see that there is no gap between the turns of wire measure the length of coil For example, the number of rounds are 24 and the length of coil is 4.8 cm. Then the diameter of wire is 4.8 divided by 24 is equal to 2 mm. Area of irregular shapes can be found using graph paper as there is no formula for finding the area of irregular shapes. finding area of a leaf place a leaf on the graph paper draw the outline of leaf completely remove the leaf and count big squares inside the outline of the leaf 
count the squares which are more than half and leave the squares less than half. Volume The space inside the regular irregular objects is known as volume. Volume is equal to length into breadth into height. Finding the volume of stone. Take a measuring jar, fill half of it with water and note the reading. Hang the stone to the stand with a thread. Arrange the measuring jar as shown in the figure so that the stone is dipped in the water. The water level rises in the jar. Note the raised level. The difference between two levels is the volume of stone. Different measuring jars. 1. Measuring jars. This is a cylindrical vessel made of glass or plastic. It is used to measure the liquids of desired quantity. Measuring jars of 50 ml, 500 ml and 1000 ml are available for use in laboratories. Measuring vessels. They are cylindrical in shape with handle. These are made of aluminium or plastic. Pipette. It is a tube-like with a cylindrical bulb in the middle. It is used in laboratories to take specific volume of liquid. Liquid is sucked into the pipette through mouth. Burette. This apparatus is also used in laboratories to extract required volume of liquid for the experiment. It is made up of glass or plastic. Pinch cock at the bottom is opened to allow the liquid to flow from nozzle. Motion Kinds of motion 1. Translatory motion 2. Rotatory motion 3. Oscillatory motion 4. Vibratory motion Translatory motion Motion of a man walking, motion of cycle, bus and car is translatory motion. It is known as linear motion. Rotatory motion If the motion of a point or parts of an object are along a circular path instead of a straight line, the motion of the body is called rotatory motion. Movement of merry-go-round, wings of fan and hands of clock belong to this kind of motion. Oscillatory motion Oscillatory motion was first observed by scientist Galileo. He observed a hanging lamp in the church. It was moving to and fro from one fixed point and it is repeated for some time. Based on this, he made pendulum clock. Vibratory motion Musical instruments like veena, sitar and guitar have strings in them. If these strings are made to vibrate, they produce musical sounds. Force Force is necessary to move the objects or to bring motion in the objects. The pull or push on an object is called force. The ox has to put more force to pull the cart. Force can push or pull the object. It causes motion in the object. Isaac Newton was the first scientist who identified force scientifically. Movement of an object depends on the direction of the force. Force is that which changes the state of rest or motion of a body. When more than one force is applied on the object, the resultant force acts on it. Unit of force in CTS system is gram centimeter per second or dyne. In MKS system, kg meter per second or newton. Types of forces Gravitational force. If any object is released from a height, it falls towards the ground. 
This was first discovered by the scientist Newton. This is because the earth exerts a force on the falling object. This force is known as gravitational force. When a ball released from height, it reaches ground. Any object thrown up, it goes up to some height and comes back to ground. Centripetal force A stone tied to the thread can be spinned in circular path. Stone moves in circular path and finger is in center of the path. In this motion, a force acts towards the center, if that on finger. The force acting towards center is called centripetal force. Gravitational force acts as centripetal force when planets move around the sun. Centrifugal force. You have understood that centripetal force acts on object. Beside this centripetal force, there is another force acting on the object that is centrifugal force. This force acts outwards to the circular path.